So now the virtual machine has rebooted and restarted. So you can gain a username if you want. And click on next. And I'm going to leave the password as blank. And here is where you key in your product key. And then uncheck this one. Do not activate. And then click next. If you don't have the product key, you can just skip and do it later. So in this case here, uh, we just skip this now and just click uh, skip. And then uh, here, click on ask me later. And here you can set your time zone if you want. And click on next. And just click anything we do here. I'll just select the home network. Now you can install your guest edition CD. So go up to the device here and insert guest edition CD. Next, open your computer, go to computer and your guest edition CD is here. So double click on this to install and select the proper one for your system which is x86 so double click this one click yes to run it click next and click next so the path is over here program file oracle and click next and check on this box and click install and then click on reboot now click finish so it will reboot the virtual machine now you can go to full screen view so click on view full screen If your virtual machine cannot go to full screen, then shut it down and then come down here, select it, click on settings and then over here, select display and increase this to 128, the maximum and then here, enable 3D acceleration and hit OK and then start it again. Now you can go to full screen mode and there you have it. If you want to restore back to windows, windowed mode, just move your cursor to the bottom of the screen and hover it there and this bar will pop up and just click on this icon. Next thing you want to do is set up the shared folder. So to create a shared folder, First, you go to your C drive and then create a new folder, Windows Shed, R-E-M-A or any other name you prefer. And then in here, select the virtual machine and then click Settings and under, under the Shed folders, under here click on the add new shared folder and the folder path select other and go and choose the file which you created the folder which you created this one click on select folder select auto mount and then click on make permanent click ok click ok again and now go back here Click on the file explorer and you should be able to see your shared folder map as a Z drive. So this is where you can share files between your host and your guest operating system. So whatever file you put in here 
will also be available in your host and vice versa. So now the next item is to disable Windows. Disable Windows Update. So to disable Windows Update, search for update and click on the result window update and here let me choose my settings select option never check for updates and then click ok because updates will detect new viruses and so on so you don't want your windows to detect the virus when you're doing analysis so the next item will be disable windows defender so to disable windows defender over here you search for services dot msc click on services windows defender is windows antivirus If you don't disable it, it will prevent you from analyzing malware. So scroll down and look for Windows Defender. This is the one. Right click on it and select properties. And at the moment it is set to automatic. So change it to disable, click stop as well to stop the service and then click apply. Click OK. So now you check Windows Defender is disabled. The next thing you want is to disable the hide extensions. So open your file explorer, open any directory and under here organize select folder and search options select view and then down here scroll down and uncheck this box hide extension for known file types so next one is disable hide extension show hidden file and folder so look for Check this to enable the show hidden file folder. So now with these two settings, you'll be able to see the file extensions. So click apply, OK. So now if you go to any folder, the file extension will be visible. You can see .dil, .exe are all visible. This is important because malware sometimes masks its true file type. It could be a .exe file and it will put .pdf .exe and because the .exe is hidden, you thought it's a .pdf file. It's a common trick. And also hidden files are not visible. You want to see hidden files because some malware will put themselves, make a copy of itself in some hidden file location and if it's not uh, disabled you'll be able you won't be able to see the the hidden files next is uh, to disable aslr which stands for address space layout randomization it's a security feature that randomizes memory addresses used by executable code including dils so that it makes it harder to analyze binary files so we want to disable that so it makes it easy for us to analyze the binary files of the malware so to do that to disable it we open a program called registry edit and then we go to uh, this location
HKLM local machine. So the registry is where Windows keeps all its configurations. So just open this and look for current look for system and then look for current control set current control set and then look for control look for session manager and then look for memory management memory management click on it and inside here we must add a new key so just right click here and then new and the key name is 32-bit value D word and give it a name of move images the default is zero so that is what we want so this tells windows not to move images that means not to move the process when it's loaded into memory but when keep its original specified entry point uh, when the programmer wrote the program so that's it so this this will disable so now you need to restart reboot the computer to have this take effect the next thing is disable windows firewall so right click here search for windows firewall or just type firewall and select this one windows defender firewall <coughs> the reason is because we want to analyze malware malware typically will call a control and command center or can try to connect to a server on the internet and we want to know where it goes so we should disable it turn on turn windows defender firewall on or off and here select turn off for both and click ok ok con confirm that it's turn off next thing you want to do is create a snapshot so to create a snapshot you can go down to the bottom hover your mouse here and go to your machine so just hover your mouse at the bottom here select machine take snapshot and here you can see give the date if you want 2021 for example and the month and the day and say uh, fresh install and then here's some description configured click ok and it will create a snapshot of the state of the machine if you want to restore you have to shut this down first click shut down so after shutting down you can see over here there is a list of all the snapshots so currently this is the snapshot fresh install and you notice it has changed if you want to revert back to fresh install just select it and hit restore and then make sure you uncheck this and click restore then it goes back to the previous state as you can see from my earlier machines some of my machines has got multiple snapshots and if i wanted to go back to an earlier snapshot all i have to do is just select the earlier snapshot click restore so this is useful for malware analysis because every time you run a malware it will corrupt your files and registry and, and other things and you always want to restore it back to the previous state before the malware was executed and this is the workflow for every malware analysis session and just remember to take a snapshot before you execute any malware and restore it back when you have finished that's all for this lesson thank you for watching